The philosophy here at Magdalene is a very simple one. Through the power of prayer, cleanliness and hard work, the fallen may find their way back to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Mary Magdalene, the patron saint of our convent, herself was a sinner of the worst kind, giving her flesh to the depraved and lustful for money. Salvation came only to her by paying penance for her sins, denying herself all pleasures of the flesh, including food and sleep, and working beyond human endurance so that she might offer up her soul to God, walk through the gates of heaven, and live an everlasting life. In our laundries, these are not just clothes and bed linens. These are the earthly means to cleanse your souls of the sins that you have committed. Here, you may redeem yourselves and, God willing, save yourselves from eternal damnation.
Let me conclude, I can't call her, by again speaking directly to the women whose experiences in the Magdalene laundries have negatively affected their subsequent lives. As a society, for many years, we failed you. We forgot you, or if we thought of you at all, we did so in untrue and offensive stereotypes. This is a national shame, for which I say again, I'm deeply sorry and offer my full and heartfelt apologies. At the conclusion of my discussions with one group of the Magdalene women, one of those present sang Whispering Hope. A line from that song stays in my mind. When the dark midnight is over, watch for the breaking of day. Let me hope that this day and this debate, excuse me, heralds a new dawn for all those who feared that the dark midnight might never end.